In this video, uh, I'm exploring another scrapyard. Bit of bonus um, scrapyard footage. I think it's Holden. If it isn't, I've just set, upset all of the Ford people. Not Suzuki Wagon R here. This looks like the original K-sized Wagon R. I've got a couple of... Um, AU Falcons here and yes I have had a look at the headliners it's interesting how the alloys on mine have all got the disc to protect the brakes in the background uh, over here we've got a Nissan Sunny a big horn uh, a pair of um, Ford Falcons I think they've been here a while. That one is starting to get eaten by trees. LPG conversion there. Very battered fourth gen Civic. That's had one mighty smack up the backside. Ford Falcon wagon there. Um, a horse. I'm giving the horse plenty of room. And the Ford Econo, whatever it is. But it's actually a Mazda. All of the lichen. Big guard on the front of it. Econo line, maybe. Maybe that's what they call them. Uh, it's a Toyota. It's a Toyota Arena. There's um, a Merc 190 just buried in the garage. I wonder if that's ever going to see the light of day again. Uh, Toyota Hilux. Mysterious Utility. Oh, that's quite interesting. Interesting um, tray on the back. And it looks like a hatchback as well. Oh, well, now I want to fit one of those to a Vauxhall Frontera. And uh, Bedford CF. I wonder what engine we have in this one. Uh, we're not getting in. Yeah, not bad. Oh, well, there, there is a badge on the back of the pickup I might actually be able to tell you what it is yeah it's not a Holden it's a Falcon Ute with um, van rear doors they're quite stylish and uh, there's a what I think is probably a Ford laser here yeah this and saloon with rear wiper but yeah right, this is most unusual looks like a Mazda 323 a very strange front end on it. Cool. Well, I think car of this field simply has to be this Austin A40 pickup. Austin of England again. Looking a little bit sad, but oh so beautiful. Here's an AU Falcon like my Fairmont with the earlier style waterfall waterfall even grill. Uh, definitely a bit unusual. Yeah. Lots of number plates, so you can busy yourself on the reg plate checker because there are some UK plates mixed in here and over here. Don't bother with that one, that one isn't coming up. And uh, a Buick awaiting its time. And a rather beautiful Oldsmobile. Look at that for a rear light. One heck of a hip kink. And that's what the front of it looks like. So we've looked around this yard, but I've just been told there's one even bigger and better. So we're going to go have a nose at that. But first, we need to take the does go back and recollect my car. And then we'll go off and see what we can find. Now I'm not going to tell you any more about this because there will be an entirely separate video on it but I can say it's a lot of fun. We have reached the other yard. I have a Holden Calais behind but um, more importantly more miners. Uh, again a fairly early one here that's got the later grill but is a split screen so that was a series two. This could be a series two or it could be an early MO. Not MM, sorry. It's a Series 2. 
that's the A series engine. Rather dusty in there. There's a BMC Farina of some sort here. Uh, Morris Oxford, I would guess, with that badge. Which is a bit sad. Uh, Morris Oxfords were a huge part of my childhood. Uh, but um, yeah, I'll flip the camera around and we'll go and have another look. Oh, that's a sad sight. That's um, a Mazda 121 or Auto Zam Review, depending on market. Uh, there are quite a lot of cars come in here that have been played with by the local fire brigade. It's an Isuzu Gemini there, or probably a Holden Gemini over here. Uh, yeah, that, that, that one's not living again. A Suzu Trooper or Bighorn Mark 1 there. Uh, so yeah, let's go and have a look at this. Um, this is my favorite car here, I think. This um, psychedelic miner. Uh, it looks absolutely magnificent. And uh, I mean, really, it doesn't look all that bad. Uh, I, I, I would love to fix that up, but leave it looking just like this. It's obviously had people jumping on the roof by the look of it, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, let's go have a mooch around the yard. Uh, we've got a Mazda 323F here. Or whatever they were badged as here, Lantis, I think. Uh, I've still got bits of one of those, which I should probably get rid of at some point. Uh, Honda CRX automatic bit grim that's just not the right transmission for that car and uh, a nissan pulsar sold as the sunny in the uk or cherry actually i think that one might be a cherry uh, the cherry and sunny used to be very distinct identities um, cherry was the front wheel drive and sunny was the rear wheel drive but in the 1980s the picture was much more um, chaotic but uh, this is just a start Lots of Hyundai's about for some reason. Uh, these Hondas are absolutely everywhere. It's a Subaru Legacy that's been um, played with considerably there. Mitsubishi Lancer wagon. The one that had the fantastic diagonal rear lights. I bet it hasn't got them anymore. No, long gone I fear. But, um, destroyed Honda. That looks like a third gen Accord. And uh, unlike in the UK, for the Japanese market, you could specify the Accords um, with pop-up headlamps, the same as, so basically that's the front end of a Honda Aero deck. There's the twin cam engine. And yeah, the fire crews have made a right mess of that one. Uh, doors, variously, Mazda 323. Uh, Mitsubishi VRG. Gosh, uh, this could take a while. Right, let's get moving. Toyota Cavalier, actually a Chevrolet, someone said after my Horopito report. Another Sierra estate. I'm yet to see one on the road, but I'm seeing lots of them in scrapyards. Peugeot 405, uh, Rover 600. That was unexpected. Quite like the 600s. Uh, probably the best of the Rondas, in my opinion. And that's entirely because there's more Honda than Rover. Rover just did the important bits of interior and um, bodywork. Uh, Civics, uh, that's like a lineup of Ford Falcons. Uh, nice big old Ute. Again, I think that's the Ford. That's probably a Holden and now I'll be in trouble. Toyota Camry looks fairly fresh. A Peugeot 505 down there. I think it just might be. It is a 505 next to these Ford lasers. Very odd looking little things. Ah, and also an interesting vehicle behind this um, Peugeot 505. Look at the width of the tyres on that bad boy. That's looking a bit silly. It must be a tale to tell there. Nissan Maxima. We didn't get the estate version. and uh, There was one and that is it. Uh, Safiro estate. Uh, because that was what the Maxima was badged as on the UK market. Looks like it's got a separate um, tailgate, uh, or the glass can pop up separately. Uh, that looks like a Toyota Corolla. It would have been a Corolla to us. That doesn't mean it was sold as a Corolla here. Toyota Tercel Avenue. Well done to the people who've remembered that, um, yes, it is a Corolla. 
that uh, a Tercel is a male falcon. So um, the fact that I own both cars is quite fitting. Uh, more Corollas. Oh, the, these liftback Corollas I liked very much. But by heck, it seems they rust even here. De delightfully curious styling. Also, this type of um, Corolla, we didn't get as a five door. We only got those as three doors. Uh, so, oh, I've just seen a Camry with the twin rear wipers. They are everywhere. Uh, I, I refuse to confirm or deny whether that's the only reason I want to live in New Zealand. I'm not going to be living in New Zealand, I don't think, because uh, it's not actually that easy to get in here. Uh, Ford lasers there. Um, and Japanese car. Am I going to find out it's a Chrysler now? That's looking a bit Chrysler-esque. Yeah, I think that's a Chrysler. Um, that pickup. Gold knows what that is. And gold knows what's going on with the blocks of wood on the boot lid. DIY spoiler? Who knows? Both Suzoku style uh, Mazda 323 or the Astina, I think they were badged here. Long lineup of big um, Fords, uh, Falcons variously. A lot of these cars losing their front clips, which makes them very difficult to identify. But um, we shall continue to um, peruse. Now that's interesting. That's a Daihatsu Charade. Uh, I quite like this type of Charade, only with a three cylinder engine. But look, it's got the wheel branding on it. Um, like I say, it was more than just um, some funky looking cars. There were lots of things around that wheel branding. This is a later Mitsubishi Lancer, badged as Libero here. And uh, I like the fact that there's a slight um, slope on those lights. And I think that must be a nod to the diagonal rear lights of the earlier Lancer. Uh, it's the only explanation I can think of. I have no idea what this is. So let's see if we find any clues at the back. Ah, oh, it's the Wing Road, Nissan Wing Road. Uh, some discos rotting at the back, like discos do. Oh, funky, funky light ace. Ah, oh, that's quite jolly. And not that rotten, really. Although, maybe that's Bondo-tastic on the old um, nose cone there. And another Morris Minor up here. And can you see the um, Holden Barina? Holden Barina badges have been put on all manner of cars. Uh, that one is a Suzuki Swift. Uh, so that's quite interesting. Uh, another Minor here. Four-door saloon. Oh, hello, what have we got behind? Is that a little mirror? No, it's a Suzuki Alto. Oh dear, that's rather full of stuff. And um, yeah, I suspect that's had fire. Early Hilux there. Um, oh, there was a bird living in that one. Yeah, quite the yard. But again, you know, it's been sitting there in a field. It's still pretty solid, I think. Yeah, I'd love to take that home. I must be honest. Um, let's go and see what else we can find. Whoa, I knew I'd find one eventually. Rover 800 Mark I. Uh, I've seen a couple of Mark IIs uh, on the road, so um, I can't remember who was asking about Rover 800s. There you go, I found one for you. Aren't I kind? All of the Holdens and Fords. Uh, let's go this way. It's difficult to know where to go next, I'm ever so excited. Even more excited than Horopito Motors, I think, because this is entirely unexpected. I was not expecting or anticipating this big old Volvo there. That looks like a Mondeo saloon, surely. There's not much left of that one. That's been picked well over. Cortina Estate. Uh, is that a squashed AX? I think it is a squashed Citroen AX. Yes, yeah, very, very sad. Slightly jumped over, but yeah, that's gone very bad around the windscreen surround. Uh, BMW E30s, variously. Suzuki Escudo, which is what the um, 
it's what the Vitara was badged as here and in other markets. That one clearly very, very popular with birds. They've made a right mucky mess of it. Mark II Escort, four door shell, worthless, really. Uh, ah, here we go, Hondas. Hondas have the potential to be very interesting indeed. Uh, what's this one here? Is that um, a fourth gen Accord? Uh, we've got a Ballard here. Oh, sorry, it's the Civic, badged as a Civic, sold in the UK as a Ballard and assembled at Longbridge. That's the actual Civic. A Honda Ascot. Never heard of such a thing, but I would say that's based on the fourth gen um, Accord. There is a fourth gen Accord for comparison purposes. Uh, wow, a three door Integra there. I've never seen one of those. We got these as a five door. Oh, what's this rear wiper doing down there? That's not where the rear wiper should be. It's all caught up in the grass. There we go. That's where the rear wiper should be. Now I'm happy. Yeah, three door Integra. So th these had pop-up lamps in the UK. Um, and here also, it seems. I'm liking it a lot. And no, I'm not sorry for repeating that gag. Um, another Accord with the pop-up headlamps. Little Daihatsu Sherrard there. A Mazda 121, might be the Ford Festiva badged version. What are these devices? There's a huge rear light. I don't recognise them at all. There are no badges, that's, that's just not helpful. Oh, hello, we've got a bit of a badge here. What does that even mean? Oh, this is most perplexing. Mazda on the um, steering wheel. But yeah, I've never seen those before in my life. Um, if you know what they are, do let me know in the comments. Or Telstar there, and be behind in the light blue, um, badge engineered Master 626 with a few styling tweaks to be fair. Uh, we've got a Subaru Justy here. I mean, in the UK, that would have that would not have sills. Uh, you can see a bit of surface rust on that inner ring, but it's still actually solid. And uh, it's got the eCVT transmission. And I don't need to tell you what it stands for, because there you go. It says right there. Ooh, Nissan Skyline. Uh, is that an R31 estate? I would really like one of these because I would really like to own a Nissan Skyline that's utterly ordinary. Uh, Rich Newton, I'm thinking of you because he is one of very few people in the UK who owns such a device. Just had to align the rear wiper there. It was upsetting me. Yes, I think this is a R31 Skyline. Uh, it's a little hard to tell because the front end is the major giveaway. So I'm just going to say that yes it is. And you can't argue me, with me because you're not here. Another Renault 21 saloon this time. Um, an old van up the back corner. Another of these Ford um, Tauruses. That's the saloon version of the Taurus. I got told off in the Horopito video for calling it a compact. And it really isn't. I apologise for the mower noise. Uh, another Skyline. Another R31, I believe. And uh, again, it doesn't look too bad, but many bits have since been purloined. Another Morris Minor just sat there. Interestingly, um, the Does Go, which we saw briefly in this video, uses quite a lot of Minor bits, and they were um, nicked, well, not nicked, they were actually purchased from scrapyards. Uh, here we have a rare Honda Civic Mark II with optional antlers and the Citroen BX that you do get everywhere it's a little third gen Honda Civic next to it but oh crikey 
there's a Nissan Prairie Joy there in the blue and gold. So we better go and have a look at that. Mazda 626 Coupe, Ford Mondeo Estate, Honda Legend. And that's a fairly early one. These were built in the UK, I think. Uh, until the manufacturer, Honda, got slightly fed up with UK build quality. Um, yeah, Nissan Prairie Joy next to a Tirano. Um, all of the nice things. And it sounds like there's a train going past as well. Some big Nissan of some kind. I don't know what this is either, it's been all of the slammed. As in has no suspension on it. Let's go and see if we can find out what this is. No, not really. Can't find out what that is. That's a very low bluebird. In the weeds, down with the kids, sick mofo and all that nonsense. Uh, Mark 1 Mondeo Estate. And another one propped up behind it. Uh, more pulsars. This is the mostly Nissan collection. Pulsars of very various generations. Um, N12, N13. Uh, Honda Civic Shuttle there. And another big thing I don't recognise. It's got Grand on the, on the front. It's like it's got pillarless doors. Japanese do like that on a posh car. A Toyota Mark II. Grande or grand, depending on your point of view. Oh, this yard is enormous. I think at some point I'm going to have to give up because I've just been talking for too long to to high aces, charade. Um, so I'm going to see if I can find another tasty nugget before we go. Oh, wow, well, that's going to take some topping. It's a Mark I Escort two door, but it's clearly been fashioned into some sort of ute. Uh, it's got a homemade tailgate, it's got uh, these uh, greedy boards on the side, it's, it's got something approaching a bulkhead. Uh, it's been stripped now, big bull bar on the front of it. It's a Rover 400 there, the HHR type. But uh, yeah, mostly all about the Escort Ute. That's, that's pretty incredible to be fair. We've got um, Holdens here, Commodores. A uh, very crunched Mazda Capella, or 626. And, uh, yeah, it just goes on and on. That's some pickup is quite lovely. Uh, someone's had the rear axle out of that, though. Escort Mark VI Estate. Another Mazda Capella. But, yeah, I think we might finally um, be reaching the end of the line. Uh, another Fiat Punto there, unexpectedly. So um, this might be a fine time to wrap this one up. So there we go. Um, oh, we will wrap this one up here. We might have a little George cameo before I disappear. But I shall say thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe before you go. We have many more adventures from New Zealand to come and hopefully maybe one or two more scrapyards. I'm really enjoying what I'm finding here. Um, so yeah, thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to subscribe before you go. Don't forget the store, uh, hubnut.org and various support options, Patreon, etc. And I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Farewell. Mm, is that your box? You're just quietly claiming that, aren't you? Absolutely not sitting on the stock. Oh no, because you know that's not allowed. Just, just...